Pros and cons of urethane versus shorter pins, smaller hook layouts. Let's talk about urethane. What a wonderful thing. Okay, you see them on television. Okay, all got urethane, right? They all are 475 RPMs off their hand. So you can consider urethane for all the customers in your shop that are 475 RPMs or higher off their hand. That is both players. <laughs> okay. Now the other thing you have to remember is in, the, in a tournament you get five balls on each lane. In a league you get 15. And whatever you think you're going to gain in the first five shots on that league layout, you're going to lose in the last 10. Because the lane's going to get ugly on you if you're going to throw 15, throw a urethane ball for all the frames. The other thing you need to understand, how many of you drilled balls in the 80s? Black U-dots, blue hammers, black angles. What do you think the factory surface on those three balls were? 320. How many of you use, how many of you have 320 pads to send reactive balls in your shop? Not very many, do you? But they're 320 when they were designed. And the other thing I can tell you is, they'll fill up with oil and they'll stop hooking quickly. When they use it for an eight game block in qualifying in the tour, they'll use the same ball until it stops hooking. About a game, game and a half. Then they'll put it down and take another ball that's never been thrown with the same surface on it and the same layout and use it again. So there are times when these guys will use five different urethane balls, all drilled the same in the same eight game block. So you tell your customer that if he's gonna bowl in a league, he's gotta have three of them. You go ahead and you sell them all three. You find out how many of them he buys. You gotta sand them before you, every time you use them. Because on the tour, these five balls, they let their tour reps sand them for them. I did, a, and I did an article for the Bowler's Journal in the 90s called Reactive Conditioning. I took a five-man team, a good five-man team from the 90s. That was about 1,100, which was okay in the early 90s. And they bowled three games on one lane with urethane balls. And during the three games, they moved, they're all right-handers, they, they moved eight and five right. They moved eight and five right because of the carry down. On the odd lane, then they, those five guys threw reactive resin balls with balance holes in them that flared. And after three games, they moved nine and five left. So because they used reactive instead of urethane, their feet were 17 boards different at the end of three games on the approach. And for those of you that can't count, that's three and a half dots. <laughs> right. So, both balls flare less, resulting in less hook. Urethane ball results in much more carry down. Urethane balls tend to destroy all patterns. Urethane balls lose, lose hook more quickly because they fill up with oil. Short pin reactives, smaller hook layouts, definitely have less carry down, result in the pattern lasting longer, and they will actually promote the pattern for opening up. Urethanes absorb Zero oil, true urethanes. Reactive resins absorb oil, therefore, by the time it's thrown and comes back on the ball return, the, oil is, the amount of oil on the ball is much less. You try to wipe it off with a, with a cloth, you're not gonna get it out of a urethane ball. It is a non-porous structure. Reactive resin has porosity. Because if you put it on, a, they do it in the test, to put an eyedropper, take an eyedropper, take a drop of oil and drop it on a right reactive resin ball and walk away and come back and it won't be there. Do the same thing with a urethane ball. That oil will be there on the surface when you come back. That's fact. 